Hello and welcome to another lesson in Free Code Camp's Object Oriented and Functional Programming section. This lesson is Sort Arrays with Sort. You can use the method sort to easily sort the values in an array alphabetically or numerically. Unlike the previous array methods we've been looking at, sort actually alters the array in place. However, it also returns this sorted array. Sort can be passed a compare function as a callback. The compare function should return a negative number if A should be before B, a positive number if A should be after B, or zero if they are equal. If no compare function is passed in, it will convert the values to strings and sort alphabetically. Here's an example of using sort with a compare function that will sort the elements from smallest to largest number. So here's our array. Here we're applying sort with a uh, our function here, our callback function, which has the a and b parameters and it returns a minus b and will sort elements from smallest to largest number. So use sort to sort array from largest to smallest. And there's a further explanation here on the sort method which is actually really good stuff. So here we're gonna apply what they showed us here but it's a little different and we'll see why right now. So we call the sort method here. It's telling us to use sort to sort array from largest to smallest. Well here it does from smallest to largest. So really all we're doing is this backwards. So we'll use our callback function which takes A and B and then we want it to do return b minus a. So this should do the opposite of this one which this here sorted from smallest to largest. Here we should actually get largest to smallest. So it should have 21 first, then 12, then 2, then 1. We can go ahead and take a look at this by running tests, and we have 21, 12, 2, and 1. And that would be using a callback function. Like it says, if no callback function is passed in, it will convert the values to strings and sort alphabetically. So that can also be done if we do not pass in our callback function. So that is it again for this lesson. And that was sorting arrays with sort method.